Hey guys, it's uh, my main event review. This is the episode from October 10, 2012. And let's get right into it. Um, Miz and Michael Cole are in the ring, like last week, which I really like. I think, I hope this is an every week thing. Um, so they hype up the big match for this week, which is Big Show and Randy Orton. Uh, big Show, they show a video package of Big Show. And then... Um, Josh Matthews gets a word in with uh, Josh, or wait a minute, Big Show talks to Josh Matthews, and he basically, you know, does this and says, you know, I'm going to knock out Randy Orton, basically in short. So then after Miz and Cole talk a little bit more, we see a video package from Randy Orton. And then we get a comment from Randy Orton from Matt Stryker uh, saying that last time that they fought, he wasn't 100%, but this time he's ready, he's going to fight. So Randy Orton and Big Show, we get our match, and they start off right away. They start fighting each other right from the get-go, which I actually got to admit I sort of enjoyed. It was a little bit different of an opening than last week's match. But this match just... I don't know what it is. It just seemed to drag on a bit. It, it just seemed to drag and drag. A um, couple of interesting spots. Um, Big Show doing, you know, the chops in the ring and out of the ring. Randy Orton hitting a drop kick that knocked Big Show down. He did the... Um, actually, you know what? He hit a... He, he, Orton hit a move. I think it was a drop kick. Um where it sent Big Show over the top and to the floor, which was very interesting because you don't see Big Show do that a lot. Um, and then Orton does the DDT from the ropes, but this time he did it from the top rope, which is very impressive considering who it is, you know, the size of Big Show. And then he hits him with the RKO, but Big Show rolled out on the floor. And then this was where the beginning of the match, or the end of the match, started. Um, Orton was going to attempt another RKO, but Big Show caught him and threw him into the apron. And then he rolled him back into the ring. And then he gave him the colossal clutch. And, and then Orton wouldn't give up. So he gave him a couple of elbows. Then he locked him in another colossal clutch. Didn't give up. And then he gets him with the choke slam. One, two, three. Big Show beat Shane, or Randy Orton in that one. And then after the match, um, Matt Stryker went to talk to Big Show, and he said that that's going to happen, that the same thing you saw tonight is going to happen to Sheamus at Hell in a Cell, and he's going to be the world's largest heavyweight champion of the world. Um, This match just seemed to drag a bit. Um... Obviously, when you get such a good match like Punk and Sheamus last week, that it's very hard for whatever is the featured match, you know, to top that. And Big Show and Randy Orton just could not do that in this situation. Um, like I said, it just seemed to drag. It was an okay match at best. I can't really say much, but it just seemed to just you know, do its thing. So we come back from commercial. Sheamus is being interviewed, and he said that when Big Show blocked the bro kick, it caught his attention, but that he will beat the Big Show at Hell in a Cell inside Hell in a Cell. So we go back to the, to the ring, and Kofi Kingston is making his way for the next match. And actually, we come back from commercial, and I feel bad, because it's Michael McGillicuddy who's the opponent. Now, if you've watched my NXT reviews, McGillicuddy is actually getting a lot of time on TV with NXT. Here, they just go right back to the match, and, it you know, McGillicuddy's in the ring, he doesn't get an entrance, none of that. So, the whole point, of this match is Miz is watching because of what happened Monday night on Raw. Um, Kofi Kingston won with 
the SOS. And then Miz decides to interview Kofi Kingston. Well, in his way, interview Kofi Kingston. And it basically boils down to Kofi Kingston challenging the Miz for the Intercontinental title next week on the main event. Now, Miz at first decided against that, but Kofi said, if you don't defend the title against me, it just proves that I was... I am more, I am a better Intercontinental Champion than you ever will be. So Miz then accepts the challenge, and then Miz tries to attack Kingston, but Miz got caught with Trouble in Paradise, and that's basically the end of the show. So next week, Kofi Kingston will challenge the Miz for the Intercontinental title, which will be the featured match next week on Main Event. All in all, this was an okay show. It wasn't nearly as good as last week's. Um, but, you know, th this is a passable show because you do get a storyline development with Kofi Kingston and Miz, which I hope continues after this next episode of Main Event. And, you know, you get your first title match on main event, which is a pretty big deal in my opinion. I'm looking forward to that one. That should be a good match. Other than that, the show was okay at best. I'm not going to praise it too much. But next week, or the next episode, I should say, Kofi Kingston, Miz, Intercontinental title will be the featured match on main event. Should be a good match next week. And to be honest, I, I can't wait to see it. I think this will be a good Title defense, um, who knows, maybe maybe Kofi's going to win the belt, maybe not. It remains to be seen. You'll find out in the next review of Main Event.